Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Guess what? We've got something that I've not had since I've been to Japan, which was a few years ago now, and it's really depressing. I just want to go back. It's something that I've craved for all the time, and I did not know this even existed. It is an empty bag. It's actually a bag that's been emptied into the bowl right in front of us, but it is Oden. Oden is something that it's hard to describe because unless you've had Oden, you can't really explain it. All I can do is show you what it's about, explain what the taste is like, and just say why I wish Oden was a thing here. It's not Odin, not the god, no, absolutely not. This is Oden, but it's got all sorts in there. You can put anything in this. I mean, you get things like Western style ones. Reminds me of Samurai Gourmet because he actually goes out for Oden for uh, a anniversary, I think, with his wife on that episode. This one is a traditional styled one. So we have this. Hiraten. 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 Basically, an know, fish cake. Yeah, it's hiraten. Hiraten means flat fish. And it's hiraten. It's a must for Oden. Must for Oden. Ooh, must for Oden. I know what this is, so I don't need an explanation. It is konyaku. It is one of my favorites. Now, the thing is with konyaku, you can get this in the UK, but you have to go to somewhere like Japan Center. If you get it, don't be thrown off by the smell. When you first open a packet, it smells so badly like fish, like ridiculously like fish. It's the only way I could explain it. Um, funny story, actually. My wife was coming home on a train. Uh, in her bag, she had five packs of konyaku. Uh, one of them burst. She was wondering what the smell on the train was. She thought it was the person sitting next to her. No, it was actually the konyaku splitting. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It's, I think, in some countries, it's called devil's yam. But very, very, very fantastic. We also have an egg in there. I would show the egg, but I'm really... Oh. I knew that was gonna happen. But yeah, we have an egg. Mr. Tamago-san. We have this, which is like a fish cake. But what type of fish? Oh, the chikua. 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 Chikua, there's a hole in the middle. So you can use it. It's like a... A telescope? Yes. Oh. Chikua. I'll probably forget all these names in five minutes. Uh, we got this little chai one. Looks like Rice Krispies. Deep fried tofu bowl. Deep fried tofu bowl, apparently. Well, there we go. Uh, we got this one. Okay, I'm not going to say this, but watch my mouth move as the actual name of this comes out. There we go. Delicious. The next we have the lovely daikon. I know about daikon. Daikon, if you don't know daikon, it's essentially like turnip, uh, but daikon's much longer. In this country, it's also called muli, I think. And we also have kombu. Yes, this one's kombu in a nice little knot. Anyway, smell. It smells so strong. It's got a very fishy smell. It's like this is the smell of a Japanese kitchen to me. Like when you go to like a Japanese restaurant, you know that smell. It's got the dashi, it's got the actual. The idea you should, it should be super soft that you can cut it with your chopsticks. Oh, this is why I need a second camera angle. There we go. Look at that. Does that not look absolutely glorious? Let's try this daikon, baby. Itadakimasu. Uh, All right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Super oishi. Oh my god! You can taste all of that broth through there. You can taste everything. It soaks right into it, and that's. I think that's when they you uh, know which uh, vegetables and stuff to put inside of there because you want stuff that's got loads of little holes that all that broth can sort of flow through, and this because it's been sitting here well obviously in the bag it can last for ages so months and months but usually they leave it in the broth flyer overnight and stuff like that and it makes sure it soaks fully into that and it tastes so absolutely sublime this dish is not just about the taste because the taste of each different thing is slightly different it's not hugely different because you're getting mainly that broth taste it's all about the textures and every little part of this has different textures so daikon mmm Super soft, super delicious, super oishi. I'll try a little bit of broth quickly. That's really good. I would not have expected this to come out of a bag. Absolutely not. Konyaku is one of my favorites. I expect it still to be quite chewy because konyaku is quite chewy, but it's got almost, it's hard to explain the texture. It's almost like rubbery is the best way I'd describe it. But they put little slices down it so the juice can still flow through it. Anyway, I should try this. Let's race for these now. It's lucky mess. I love this. <laughs> With konyaku, it's very jelly-like. That's the best way to put it. It doesn't capture as much of that broth taste as the daikon because there isn't much holes for it to go through because it is quite rubbery. But it's pure textured goodness and I absolutely love 
Konyaku, one of my favourites. By the way, if you notice, I'm only eating like, a bit of each because the rest is going to my wife afterwards. I'll keep, I'll keep an eye on She'll kill me if I don't. I've never had kombu in Oden. I don't know how to eat this. Maybe just take a bite at the knot. But it looks interesting. Let's just give it a try. Anyway, take your mouth. Make sure you dip it back into your broth. Mmm. Kombu is really good. Kombu is absolutely fantastic. I like that. It's really good. Very soft. Easy to get through. The only problem is it's quite a small amount in there and I kind of want more. I wish there was multiple kombus in there. Definitely an interesting way of having kombu. It's not the sort of thing I eat a lot either. Uh, I think we use kombu a lot of the time when we make, uh, if you make like sushi rice and stuff like that. Kind of looks like a chicken nugget actually. Look at that. Oh, delicious. It's like a mess. Mmm. That's really good. Really good, very, very soft texture. You, I'd say well, tofu doesn't really have a strong, strong taste. Oh, okay. I get, I get the texture of tofu. Uh, it's almost got like little bits inside of it. Like it, uh, maybe like fish cake bits, I don't know. It reminds me more of a fish cake, if anything. Mm. Which one next? Next, the triangular one. It reminds me of uh, Inari uh, ah, sushi. Yes, yeah, yes. it does remind me. It has bardock inside of this. Mm. Oh, let's try this bad boy. I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. When it comes to taste wise, there's not huge massive leaps and bounds between the taste, but the texture of each one is different. That one had a nice bite to it. I really like the bite. If I went to an Odin restaurant, this definitely would be one of the ones of my high my priority. It is really, really good. I'm going to, look how shiny that looks. It looks shiny as my head. It's like mass. Come on, son. <laughs> okay, I've just <laughs> I've just discovered something. I don't like egg in my odem. <gasps> the egg for texture wise, it's good because it's different. The outside is like a normal egg, but the inside, because it's been sitting here for so long, it doesn't have that typical egg texture. It becomes almost like soft, well, like almost powdery, like it's dried out a bit, but like like mushy. It's hard to explain. Uh, egg is definitely one I would not choose to go in my odem. Yakitiku. What? What? Yaki chiku wa. What? Yaki Doesn't that look so cool? I mean, it generally looks really cool, especially when you put a hole in it. You got those sort of grilled marks on the outside of it. This one's good. Mm. Really, really good. I really like that. It's got a nice, it's almost like a, it had a, like a pop bite to it. Mm. Oh, so, so good, so, so good. Anyway, I think we've only got one left. Here at Aden, we all know fish cakes. We all love fish cakes. How does this fish cake taste in Oden? That's my favorite. You That's my favorite, mm. I think. No, the rest is yours. Hi. Hi. My whole thoughts on Oden is it's really fantastic. The important part of Odin is finding what you like inside of it. I did not know, because I don't think I've had egg in my Odin before. And if I did, I don't remember liking it because I tried the Odin and it just didn't work for me. The best one out of the lot there is most likely the daikon for me or daikon fish cake. It's just the, the tamago, that's the only bit that's laid down really. But the daikon, the reason that's so good is because like out of anything, I'd say that soaks in that lovely broth better than anything. The fish cake's always nice in it. It's always a staple in there. I love konyaku, but konyaku, in my opinion, it doesn't soak the flavor of the Odin broth as well as the others, but it's still a nice change because your texture is totally different with that. See if they have a Odin broth and try and make it yourself. I am gonna, I think I'm probably gonna do either a video on that or I may put a recipe up somewhere at some time and try and do it myself because it's something that we can get all the vegetables. I'd love to try parsnip or something like that. Something unusual because that's the brilliant thing is with Odin. You can try anything with it. Just try it, boil it. If it boils and it can soak in juice, why not? That's the whole idea of it. The only one downside to those bags is you actually get a lot of broth. So maybe if you did actually get one of those bags whilst you're over there and bringing it back with you, use that broth and make another batch of Odin because you could actually use that same broth, leave the vegetables in afterwards. There you go, you double top on your actual uh, stuff because there isn't actually much filling inside. It's more the soup. It is a typical winter thing that people like to enjoy over the winter and during this cold period, why not? Anyway. I shall catch you all again soon, people. Take it easy. Bye. 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 Oden, son.